Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Solace Crafting. Woo! How are we all doing today? Ophi, we are all doing well. I know I'm doing okay. So I decided to take a look at this game again just to see how far along things are. And man, there's a whole plethora of changes. We have everything from caves, I think, to, to some... Uh, the point of interest have been tweaked a bit and I think there was a bunch of bug fixes so yeah so today what we're going to do is we're going to play with the transmogrifier I think that's what it's called so if you go crafting all all I, I usually do that because that's how I find the changes I think there's things like bags maybe that's new I'm not too sure about that one there are a few things in here that might be different the icons i think might be different as well there's a hoe that's new there's farming that's another cool change that they've added Let's see what else the, they i say they but it's one guy i think right now Un unless the guy has hired a team of people not too sure you'd have to look at all the the forums and stuff and figure that out i don't really follow all that stuff i just try and figure out the game as I go so if you know more than I have or I do I have <laughs> you know more than I do then yeah you might not learn anything new so you might as well just move on otherwise if you want to watch me fumble my way through the game then yeah you feel free to comment you know hit that like button or dislike it doesn't matter <laughs> as long as it gets that engagement then that's what counts on YouTube there's the small boat, which I want to create as well because of the, the portal. If you remember where we get ported to, I want to create a little platform there that we can land on. I have some plans for that. Um, we need to build a bunch of storage chests. We need to build a bunch of of uh, yeah storage because we need to, to store a bunch of stuff. With this transmogrifier right here, here we go, 50 stone. That's not too bad. So this transmogrifier refire will allow you to take materials and upgrade them or downgrade them which is pretty freaking cool which means that yeah we're getting into kind of a little bit of automation it looks like uh, we need the well as well because that is going to be used for the farming so we'll have to terraform a little area around here i'll probably do the farm uh so i still get that okay that's a game saved uh, I've tried to mess around with my my settings just to see if it fixes kind of like the chugginess and and hopefully that will be that. So I think out here we're going to put the farm kind of where I'm running around here. This is where the farm will go. This is kind of like the crafting house that we're I'm trying to finish that way I can move all this stuff inside there. And then maybe we can fix this area up, maybe make it into a a structure I don't know I'm not sure what kind of of pieces that we have but I'm gonna have to look at that just to make sure that we can build an interesting structure because my creativity is there but not <laughs> I usually tend to wait on these games to have creativity because I want the game to be done before I spend a lot of time building these these fascinating structures of various sizes and whatnot so it looks like I need some food it's down to 65 percent there let's take a look through here it's been a while as i mentioned since i've played and i don't want to eat any of this stuff i just want to eat the meat because i think that is is um where it's at right now um see there you go 90 percent until you know something else is added and uh, the well will allow us to drink as well instead of using water Oh, that's tannin, the reading vat here. You can use this to drink. It's 15% hydration, I think. So another thing you'll ch you'll notice in this this video is my headset. I might have mentioned that I got a new headset, so I I had to play with the settings. Hopefully, I've got the settings at a decent place. And yeah, let's build that transmogrifier. So since I don't have any materials, let's just go and, and harvest. Basically, this is what you're going to be doing. I think everyone does this is you're going to be running around and you're going to be harvesting materials you're going to be harvesting these rocks ores everything and oh no it looks like we still get the chugginess i hate that i don't know why 
And it looks like he added some control F, so now we can talk and while there's mining. Pretty cool. Uh, shift F, I'll have to do that to see what that is. This is new. This is uh, Spirit T, so we'll have to grow that. I, I'm going to leave that there because, well, <laughs> we'll get it later. Over here we have, it looks like there's like pumpkins added. Those are easier to see. So let's shift F. Harvest stone. Okay. That's an interesting... Maybe that's for a controller. But I use keyboards, so that's unnecessary. People, I think, like to play with that stuff a little bit. Just to see how it looks in games. And everything is really crude, <laughs> I find. Hopefully the developer doesn't yeah. take offense to that. It's no offense. It's just the reality of it. You know, like these health bars, right? You can kind of dress them up. But I think that will come. That will come. Oh, look at that. I got a bunch of stuff that's from, from harvesting. Because I think my skills are are, are, are different as well. Um, going to crafting. No, wait. Inventory. Harvesting. So right here, these levels maintained. So... Quarrying is level five, tier one, so I can I can harvest tier one stuff. Um, this other stuff is still tier zero, so we have to increase that. Here we are. Okay, so yes, crafting. What's this? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so let's go into our skills. Actually, since we have a bunch of skills, I want to spend them. I got these skills back, so I distributed a little bit of them differently. So what did I do? I went into adventuring and I purchased kind of a couple squire skills here. I purchased uh, a disciple skill so we have healing, so we can heal ourselves. And I purchased fireball so we can pull the creatures to us. <laughs> and I think that will be our combo. And then we can experiment with this other stuff. I think as we go along, we can also create those potions that the tabula rasa potion, which allows us to to reset things reset our skills things i shouldn't just say things it's so funny there's that thing which we can loot i think we already got that one but maybe they kind of respawn so i collect ah come on this is stupid why is it doing this this is the only game this does this on i can play games like no man's sky no problem that's on ultra settings right i can play arc on on, on ultra that's no problem with the video card I have. So it's definitely something that the game is doing. Not sure what that could be. Maybe it's loading in a different chunk. Because as you walk around, it probably loads the next chunk that you're you're heading into. I'd rather have the system load all the chunks around me. Then as you move, then it loads those your new chunks slowly. So you minimize kind of like the load time, I guess. So similar to how Ultima Online did things is the way I would do it, where it loads a certain number of chunks around you, and then those chunks are then loading as you travel, as you move with that game world. That makes sense. <laughs> See, right here, like it's only when I go out further, and once you go out further, you can run all the way back, no problem. So it's definitely something to it. So let's Control F. So yeah, and yeah, so this will continue. Um, I think once I feel I have a good load of stuff, I think I will will head back. So yeah, so I will meet you back at the base. Here we are, look at this. This is also something I think that was added. There's these fruit trees now. So let's see, control. So do you go F to harvest? No, I don't want to chop it down. Shift F. Ah, harvest oranges, that's how we do it. I don't want to chop the tree down. Shift F, harvest oranges, okay. Oh yeah, cool. Well, 
the fruit disappears and yeah so there we go we have some oranges now get seeds there we go it shouldn't expire i don't think these expire either but it's as easy as that to get seeds that definitely will need to get changed i think but very placeholder <laughs> in my opinion very very much it's a placeholder i wouldn't do anything like that <laughs> big rock here so yeah so I'm continuing with the process Perfect, here we go. So, now I'm going to teleport back. Go one. I'm gonna have to change those key bindings. I don't like the one being the teleport. I want the sword attacks and whatnot. So this needs to be renumbered. I would shift the numbers over so where it's like one, two, three, four, five, up to 10. Uh, zero being the 10. So that way it mimics your keyboard. <clears throat> There's no challenge there. I know you can change as well, I think, these things. There's like these little things that we can do. I'm not sure how to work that into the, th the thing. Do I have to click on them or can I do like control, you control one, two, three, and then like an alt, an alt one, two, three, or something like that. That's kind of how I would control that. Not sure how you've done it here, but it, yeah, you correct me if I'm wrong, of course. <laughs> so that's, just the, that's just the way it is. So, now there's storage, and I say so a lot, and I apologize for that, but it's one of my favorite words to say. I think we need to create some storage, which means that we need to put storage into here, because this is kind of... Spo oh, what's the hell? I used to be able to run up those, no problem. This is kind of going to be like the crafting storage area type of thing. And I don't know how tall to make the structure. So therefore I need to just start doing things. Crafting. Can we make a table? I can then put boxes, I think underneath and on top of the table. Maybe, or maybe I just saw in my imagination that I can make a table. Maybe I need to be close enough to the tools because we need this station stone cutting station here can we pick this up oh we totally can okay how about we just do a move move everything inside and then go from there so let's do that let's go pick up oh, cool we got the forge move the forge inside ah i'll hang up there go the forge where do we put it doesn't matter let's put it here in the back corner. Please. Hold shift. Ah, uh, yes, you added a fast rotate. Thank you so much. 
I wish... Oh, no, yeah, we can move. Okay, good, good. I like this. I like this new way. This is this seems more slick now. A lot more slick. Let's see. That. Perfect. Pretty much right up to the edge. Excellent. Okay. We've got the forge here. So this is the new home of the forge. Excellent. Oh, the transmogrifier. We should make that. Let's do that. This is the whole point of the episode. Transmogrifier. The T. Transmogrifier. This would be very interesting to see. We can increase the tier. We'll have to increase this up. We can practice now, which means that that crafting materials are used, but but you don't. You nothing's crafted, which is good. So we can work up our skills. Spectacular. What's this? Oh, I, I guess that's to turn it on and off, maybe. Okay, so let's. Too far from crafting station. Stone cutting station. <laughs> Should have maybe. Realize that where's the stone cutting station? This is it right here. Crafting. Mogrifier. Yeah, now it's it's all white. Interesting. Let's go. Craft. Perfect. We got a transmogrifier. Let's place that inside this building here. Where are we gonna put it? Let's put it in the corner over here. Maybe. Let's see how big it is. It's not too bad. Can we? Oh, maybe we can put it in here. Let's rotate it. I like, I like that. Let's place it right in here. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. Really cool. So now, I think we would basically throw in a stack of this. Just kind of shift right click. We increase. Oh, and it's instant. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Exciting. So this is how we can slowly level up. Slowly increase our our equipment. <laughs> Just like that. Man, this is slick. This is totally slick. I like this. I have a feeling this is obviously not going to stay like this. You know, you're going to probably put a timer in it. Probably have to feed this thing. It probably has to be worked by an NPC at some point, and which is no problem at all. Yeah, and we can upgrade stuff. Forgot about this. We have a trainer here. We'll have to play with that as well. I guess that's how you do NPCs. So let's continue moving everything in. So that's the transmogrifier. It basically upgrades or downgrades all of this stuff, which is. Really cool, really cool. Storage chest. How many slots are here? One, two, seven, eight, sixteen slots. I think that's the the chest size here. Treasure chest, I think is what it was. Storage chest. Yeah, so that's the same thing. I guess if we were to make a larger tier, which uses a, a bigger kind of lumber type of thing. I guess we can get more slots that way. So I guess we should... So this is tier... Zero uncommon timber. So if we go crafting... Oh, I see. So, ah, uh, see, tier one. Mm. Okay, I get it, I get it. So we need to, to get the tier one, which is at the five kilometer mark, I believe. I believe in... In any direction that you go, it's about five kilometers before you get to the next tier. And that next tier, obviously, you know, the higher the rarity. So that's, I think, like the uh, this stuff, the uncommon. Well, the higher that is, the better the equipment is within that tier. And yeah, and so then the next tier would then have better stats, of course, based on that tier with the higher rarity. Which would be better as well. Yeah, I'm digging this. I like that progression. That allows you to continue to to play the game and to to create all of this stuff. And yeah, it's just so cool. So let's pick this up. Reading vat. Let's place it inside here. I'm hoping I can get everything into here, but we do need to be aware of where we're placing this stuff because 
I need to place in stairs still. I think I'm going to put up a, a higher level. So we clearly need to move this stuff here. Perfect. Throw this in here. Throw these in as well, as well as this. It'll be kind of like our storage for that. Okay, and then let's run over here and pick up. I'm not sure how long the episode is going to be. Because <laughs> it's kind of a hodgepodge day today. And there's some space here to to record. And therefore, this is the entertainment that you're watching now. <laughs> so let's... Uh, I guess I can't store it in, in the Reading vat. Because it's going to convert it if I hit convert for all these different kinds. I guess it's a bad idea in that sense, but we could upgrade these into the next tiers and then do it for better cloth, whatnot. So this stone, the reason I grabbed the stone was because I was gonna throw it in there. Let's do that, let's go increase, shabam. Oh, and it puts leftovers in there, so that's cool. That is totally cool. So let's do that. Increase that in there. Go increase. Yeah, and so slowly we're gonna get better equipment. I wonder if we can do it with with the the iron bars. Maybe not. Maybe it's just. Oh, it, it just says so. Let's see here. I want to store stuff. We're moving stuff, right? <laughs> so let's. Let's uh, um, interact, pick up the tailoring station, pick up the that, pick up the sawing station. Got stuff in here to pick up. Okay, I will build the storage chest first, I think. We pick this bad boy up. This is the enchanting table, which, I don't know, very unwieldy. Uh, like it works, but I don't know. I don't like this interface. It's kind of rough. I'm not sure how this should feel. And yeah, I can look into my inventory. It's just kind of a weird interface. I think in general. Let's see here. Let's keep the bed out here. Keep this here. Let's pick this up. This up. These ground torches we can't place on these structures anymore. So I'm not sure what is supposed to be the power source. It's this. Oh yeah, leather working station. Or not power source, but I guess there's torches. But I think that's a carrying torch. Uh, are there torches? There's wall torches. But what if I want to put the torch on the ground? Right? So that's where these bad boys come to play but they're supposed to be placed on open ground. So what about the floor torch? <laughs> because you know, there's candela candelabras, there's there's methods of lighting that existed. Not to mention, I think people forget how far back electricity goes. And electricity goes quite far back, like hundreds and hundreds of years. You know, if people think we've only had electricity in the last little bit, think again, think again. So anyways, we are carrying on with our... Uh, there, there was a little bit of pickup there. Um, dang it. Oh yeah, I can pick this up. Let's go place all that stuff. I think we'll place the crafting tables in the middle here. Let's see here. So let's put the, the anvil here somewhere. Let's make it in a good spot. Pretend like we're working the forge and then using the anvil, working on our stuff. <laughs> See, tink, 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 tink. <laughs> okay, and tanning rack. This can go beside this redding vat thing. This, let's just put it like that. That works. Okay. Chanting table, where are you going to go? I don't know. We're just going to throw you over here. I'm not even sure which way is up on that thing, so that is fine. Um, this, the woodworking station. So this is an actual station now. 
I think we can do this, or we can kind of turn it like this. Let's see if that would be kind of like the front of it. Let's do it there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we can move around it. Okay, that's not too bad. And we can always move this stuff, so it's not like it's a big deal. We've got a tailoring station, which I can then put like right here. Right beside that station. And we have a stone cutting station, which we can put right here. Like that. Shabam. Right beside each other. Perfect. And then we have a sawing station, which was this thing. Maybe we can put it here, maybe? Middle? Maybe we'll rotate it around like this. That maybe? I don't know. And then what else do we have here? Right here, we got another working station. Maybe we can do this with this. This, and we'll put it like that so we can I don't know if there's any more stations, so maybe we'll just do this. That. And I think that's it. I don't know if there's any more stations. I thought I had loom or something. That was the leatherworking tailing station. Okay. We're going to run past that. Perfect. Now. Yeah, we got the campfire here. We can keep that here. Keep the campfire here. We'll keep the, the trash bin out here to collect all the garbage, the garbage items. And yeah, and so now we'll create the storage. Obviously, it can't do higher tier. So we will just craft some more storage. This lightning is actually pretty good. I'm quite impressed. It's usually hard to get lightning right in games, but in this game, I think it's just right. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to stop right here. This would be a good place to stop. We get to continue this whole relocation process in the next episode. So I'm not sure when that will be. I know it's been crazy in my life, and uh, that's why it's been a while since you've seen a video from me. I apologize for that, but hopefully, hopefully this makes up for it. I got a new headset, so that means the quality will be a little bit better of the audio, hopefully. <laughs> as long as I can speak properly. And yeah, in that sense, thank you everybody for watching. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah,